Hi. Okay, so here I'm trying out a simplified, simplified version of this um, rotor system. So the wings only have a fixed pitched up uh, control surface at the uh, outer part of the wing. So they are basically independent flying wings and they are pulling up a uh, central mounted weight so the lines extend depending on the centrifugal force. And it, the system is pretty stable and um, the reason that I tried this out is that I ran into trouble with the flight controllers at higher RPM. I don't know if it is uh, the sensors that fails under higher G loads or if it is uh, phase lag or gyroscopic precession that starts being a dominant factor. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the control output from the flight controllers uh, started to uh, uh, well, make the wings not track as well uh, at higher RPMs or actually they start going really crazy and, and it was uh, well totally not useful for this uh, intended application to uh, create a system that can uh, provide a high efficient lift. The weight there is not really big enough to pull the wings back into the center again. I had another setup that actually did that but this needs a little bit of help. I'm just going to give you a close review here at this setup um, and the, uh, the lines are coming out from two uh, 3D printed parts uh, set at an angle, I think it's like 4 or 5 degrees or so and uh, to, to help the, uh, the control surface there to keep the wing in a up pitch uh, position of the wings to provide a, well, a good lifting force. Uh, so this was, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of a step forward to uh, have them spinning uh, in a uh, controlled fashion and here I'm just uh, trying to get a feel for how much gyroscopic precision or phase lag that there is in the system. So my, I'm tilting the, uh, the mast here to uh, left and right and back and forward to see if it uh, is in 90 degree or some sort of an offset. But I must say that it was actually very difficult to get a um, I couldn't really draw any good conclusions of this and the wings are not at all perfectly balanced or anything so it's uh, a little bit shaky but uh, still an interesting experience and, it, and I can feel how how much lift they give because the system is pretty heavy and there's like uh, two and a half kilos of weight in the green uh, bucket there and it's not uh, heavy at all to uh, to carry around when the wings are spinning, but when I turn them off, <laughs> you can start feeling the weight of the system uh, almost immediately. So uh, they produce uh, several kilos of uh, upward uh, lift. Okay, so that was great fun. So uh, I went along and uh, constructed a, a system that is uh, intended to uh, be flight tested later on, which is much more compact and light. Let's uh, take a look at that. In this test I'm looking for oscillations, so I'm just trying to um, get a feel for how the structure reacts to the uh, accelerating rotor. And once it's up to uh, its uh, intended RPM it's uh, quite uh, vibration free, but as it passes through a certain RPM range, it starts to oscillate. Yeah, you can see it there. But I was actually not ex expecting the structure to, to uh, keep itself on the ground at all. So I'm sort of pleased because it's a very flimsy, long tube the whole uh, rotor is mounted on. But these uh, blades are better balanced than the uh, previous. Okay, and here I'm trying to um, get a feel for how fast you can accelerate the blades without the propeller striking any part of the structure. And it turns out that you can, uh, you can go uh, pretty hard on the throttle, which is a good thing to get the rotor spinning fast. And here's a close-up uh, of the mechanism. It's the winching mechanism. It's not activated yet. It lacks the motor and chain, etc. But there it is. And uh, yeah, it's just standard hobby parts and uh, the wings are made uh, of the uh, intriguing technique with um, foam board and uh, packing tape and it's actually producing a very pretty result. So it's the same uh, airfoil as the 
in the previous clips, but it's uh, scaled down and more accurately put together. So they are within one gram of weight, these wing halves. And yeah, this structure lacks the, uh, the uh, pitch angle at the root where the wires come in, but I have a fix for that because I think it's important to mount the uh, wires so that you help the, the blade or the wing to uh, keep its uh, upward pitch. So yeah, this is the structure I'm working with right now. It's supposed to be four blades, but it's uh, three at the moment, or two at the moment. Uh, and the, uh, the control surface here is set at four or five degrees up pitch. I will get back when I have something interesting to uh, show you all. See ya.